He said you can't stay with the younger brother and sister in prayer. You have to stay the whole six weeks. And we lost 40 kids. Cool. So I'm very proud of the 60 that stayed. I'd like to introduce to all the directors today. Please forgive me for reading this from the program, but the kids can tell you my memory is so who did the wonderful set. She's hiding back there. She uh, is working from a tremendous handicap this year. They took her room around and away from her and because of space limitations. And so she's literally on a cart on three floors with 650 kids. So we really appreciate her extra time. Joanne Finn is our choreographer. She invents these dances, creates them, and teaches them to her. She's hiding behind the choir. We really appreciate her talents. Her studio is right around the corner. She does a marvelous job with the kids. We take everybody at math school. You want to try this dance? We want you in the pro. I'm not doing that one again. This is the place to do it. Her daughter Jordan is with her tonight, and Jordan was just in her recital. She's four, and she was the star of that, too. She had a helper, Miss Courtney Miller, and we appreciated her time as a dance teacher. And Danielle Larrabee was also our student dance teacher here at math school when the kids had a question. Mrs. Singleton is behind the spotlight. She's our PE teacher and she likes to hide back there, but she does a great deal of work. Mr. Ratonic is backstage. He's our backstage director. He's also a teacher in the school. There he is. We would like to publicly acknowledge two women tonight, Marilyn Neidinger and Lori Barbeau, who came every day to help with these kids. One came at 2.30 and got them dressed. One came at 3.30 and got them undressed, and it was just wonderful to have extra help. You just never know what's going to happen back there. It's just as always a surprise. We would like to acknowledge a visitor that we have from Korea. Her name is Mi Sup Hark, and if I goofed that up, I'm sorry. She came to see our production of The Nutcracker, and I, and I mean that. That's the way you show, well, not now. That's the way you show the kids that you like what they're doing. Don't be a polite, you're not at a symphony concert here. You are simply at our Nutcracker production. Please hang on to your kids. I have the video from last year and it's got the same child going up and down the road seven times. So please hang on to your children if you would. I know it's hard to see. I do apologize. Um, thank you so much for coming. Did I forget anything, Mrs. Singleton? No, she says. Welcome to our play. It'll be done in half an hour. Merry Christmas. Well, here it is, almost Christmas again, and if I do say so myself, it's going to be a white one. Why, this is just about the coldest Christmas I can remember, and I can remember quite a few. That's Fritz and Marie over there. They live here, and they're waiting for the big event, the lighting of the Christmas tree, and naturally, the opening of the presents. That must be Judge Strasselmeyer now. She always drops by on Christmas Eve with a nice gift for the children. I wonder what she's bringing tonight. Judge Drosselmeyer. I just knew it must be you. I'm so glad you're here. It never seems like Christmas until you arrive. Well, thank you, children. And just wait till you see what I've got for you. You're just in time for the lighting of the Christmas tree. And the presents. Nice, Marie, but that was long before you were born. I keep forgetting what old kid you are. Now, now, children, let's be kind to of one another, especially tonight. Christmas Eve is not the time for stirring up grievances. Oh, well, I am a nutcracker. 
You see, what I do for a living is I crack nuts. I put a walnut in my mouth and I bite down on it and crack the shell. My dentist would like me to retire. Hard on the teeth, you know. But, well, actually, I'm nuts about my work. <laughs> what is it? It's a nutcracker. See, you put a nut into his mouth and make him bite down on it. Presto! The nut is cramped. Just like I said. Let me see him. Oh, Fritz, look what you've done. You've broken it. Oh, who cares? It didn't work right anyway. It's just cheap junk. <laughs> it's not the thing to say, Fritz. I agree. And you never even thank the judge. I'm sorry, judge. I think it's a wonderful gift. Here, let's see if I can fix them for you. There, good as new. Oh, thank you, Judge. I'll take good care of them. I promise I will. Well, I must be going now. <laughs> Merry Christmas to the both of you and to the Nutcracker. And good night to you, too, Judge. Well, that was a close call if I do say so myself. You were very nice tonight, Fritz. And on Christmas Eve, too. Oh, who cares? I wish you'd just leave me alone, Marie. I wish everyone would just leave me alone. I'm going to bed. Oh, I wish I didn't have to go to bed at all. I wish I could just stay here with you until Christmas Eve. Say, I had no idea it was midnight already. I've heard that some very strange things can happen at midnight. In fact, my old enemy, the Mouse King, sometimes makes an appearance with his army. I hope he drops in tonight, because if he does, I'll be ready for him.
It's magic, Marie. Anything can happen on Christmas Eve. In fact, the magic is just beginning.
There will be plenty of time for tasting later, Marie. Let's hurry now. But man, the pear, it's sticky. That's because it's made of chocolate. Chocolate? Who it is, chocolate. This place is just full of surprises, isn't it? Is that a pond over there? Yes, it is, but it's not just any ordinary pond. It's filled with root beer. Oh, I love root beer. Nearly everyone loves root beer, Marie. In fact, this is such a wonderful place that the boys and girls who come here never want to go home. Well, boys and girls, I haven't seen any. Well, here they come to give you a big welcome, and I see that they brought the candy flutes along to play for you. Candy flutes? I suppose they play very sweetly. <laughs>
Say, isn't this a beautiful night? Why that marshmallow moon looks good enough to eat. Is it really made of marshmallows? And it certainly is, and I'm sure it tastes just as good as it looks. Whee! It's not much farther. That's Cookie County just over there. Mmm, Cookie County. I think that'd be a wonderful place to live. Well, perhaps, but you see, no one ever gets anything done in Cookie County. Why not? Because they spend all their time having tea parties and tasting new kinds of cookies and teas. In fact, the only business in town that is open is a Chinese tea shop. Chinese tea is the most popular drink in all of Cookie County. Uh,
Eve and Christmas Eve. Speaking of Christmas Eve, I'm afraid we'll have to go now. The magic hour has nearly passed. Singleton, 
Uh, we have our parents volunteers who have spent a lot of time in rehearsaling and working with our students uh, just about every day. So it was a lot of work, but we are sure proud of you all students. I mean, we, you really represent our school very, very well. Thank you so much. And to you, the parents, I wanted to thank you for, you know, I know this time of the year, December, is very busy. We all have a lot of commitments. But for you get in here in our school and make our children our first priority, I'm pretty sure that your children, our staff, will really appreciate it because for all the parents that you are grandparents now, thank you for all your help with the dances. They were wonderful.